Rich Morris here from The Singing Drummer. Um, I've been doing a lot of stuff other than doing uh, drum cover videos. Um, been getting a lot of stuff done around the house, a uh, lot, lot of stuff going on. But one of the things I've been messing around with, as you can see behind me, is this silly little light system that I bought for the band to do like videos and stuff like that. Um, and we haven't used it yet because I've been working on uh, the controls for it um, and not wanting to buy a very small controller that wouldn't really work for anything. Um, I've got, I mean, it's a very small system, but there's a lot of lights there. And so I was trying to figure out a way to get to control the lights using, I'm going to start this up here. Should have done this before I started the cameras. Using a computer program called QLC Plus. And, and it works. It works fine. I'll get it hooked up here in just a second. I'll pause the, the recording. Um, but, <laughs> thank you. But um, this is not a touchscreen computer. So it'd be really annoying with like a mouse pad and stuff like that. It would be a whole lot easier if we could just touch screen. So I got this from Amazon today, which is supposed to turn this into a touch screen computer. So let's see if that actually works. If I can open up the box. Well, this is what I got. Air bar. Air bar is supposed to be a plug and play, basically. I mean, there's some drivers and stuff. I'm sure it's got to got to go into it, uh, so that you can plug this in through a USB port and turn this in. Ugh, turn this in to a touchscreen computer. So let's just kind of see. I won't bore you with the details of refining it unless I figure out that I, it's going to, you know, I'll figure that out and then I'll show you guys later. So here it is. This is what comes in the bar. This again, Amazon, we got to talk about packaging this for this. And inside of this box, we have, this is how much instructions I get. I'll, I'll go through that. I'll get into that later. And then we have this, which is supposed to, you stick some magnets on your screen. Like down here, I'm thinking on your screen so that then this magically sticks to your laptop screen and then uh, it'll be aligned every time you use it. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. I've got a 15.6 uh, because that is what my computer screen is. They're setting up a device. I've never done this. I'm just So what did it do? Oh, device is ready. Set up and ready to go. That's what it says. Set up and ready to go. So, oh my God, it's touching buttons. Um, I may have to, I'm gonna pause this because you can't see the screen. That was simple. I plugged it in and buttons are freaking pushing. That's, that's awesome. Okay. I'm going to start up the lights and then we'll see if I can get the lights to control with this. Hmm.
Okay, something really strange. So I can, I may have to move that camera over here so you guys can see this. I think I'll do that. Give me a second. Okay, so I don't know how well this is gonna pick up, but this is really strange. So if you look at me pointing to the screen, so this thing is, oops, that thing's plugged in, it's, it's going. And if I push this button, this is now active. And if you can see behind me, if I push on some of these buttons using the computer, the lights light up, right? Very simple control panel that I've set up, just a couple simple scenes. I might do a tutorial about that later on. But now here's the weird thing, right? That button worked with my finger. With my finger. Doesn't work. Oh, oh, that works. So, so I'm using the, the touchpad now, and you can see the lights behind me doing a whole bunch of stuff. But if I do this, it doesn't work. And then if I just go ahead and shut this off, I mean, I can go... I can do pretty much anything else I want to do with this thing. Um, and it's weird that the slider, oh, yeah, see I'm moving stuff around on the screen that, like that. And I can. it looks like I can select the buttons here and I double click on them and I can get into the edit screen. But when I go into the performance screen, But the slider works. <sighs> really, really strange. I think I got it figured out. So if we can take a look at the screen here, if you notice these buttons, make sure that I'm actually working here, yep. These buttons all have these little blue stars in them. The blue stars mean that they are, are an instant flash in QLC Plus. Uh, but I still have the ability to control the slider, right? But I can't select these even for an instant flash. So if I shut this off, if I go in here, if it'll allow me to do it, and I turn from flash function to toggle, now watch what happens. I can't select these, but I can select that, and you can see the lights on behind me. <clears throat> it worked though it reduces some functionality in QLC Plus because I can't use the flash toggle button. Um, but the thing is, is, I can go through here, I can remove all these off the flash toggle and put them on a more like a momentary switch, which is the toggle on and off, I guess is what it's called. So taking it off the flash function and putting it on the toggle function. One more. Now watch. Look over my shoulder. They're all on, they all work. They're all doing what they're supposed to be doing. Um, this was a mock-up to look like my guitar pedal. That's why it's kind of like not exactly in the same. It, it, it look this the the buttons on my guitar pedal look just like that, and my expression pedal on my guitar pedal looks just like that. So that's why the layout is like that. I figured I would try to make it work with my guitar pedal, which it does. But this is kind of another way of controlling it. So again, the air bar from Neode, uh, 15.6,
is what I've got on here because that's the size of my computer. And it works. It turns your non-touchscreen computer into a touchscreen computer, which then I can use to control QLC Plus and run and run lights. Oh, it does this annoying thing too. Can you hear that? If you have your hand over top of the screen for too long, it it evidently gets mad at you. So anyway, thanks for watching. And if you wouldn't mind, it's totally free. You can hit the subscribe button. It won't mean anything for you. It wasn't, won't cost you a thing, but it'll mean the world to me because I'd love to drive up some subscribers on this. Uh, hit the ring notification it, and it's not going to drive you nuts because it's not like I put out a ton of videos, but I would really like to build this channel and I can do it with your help. So if you wouldn't mind, if you like watching me trying to figure stuff out, hit the subscribe button, would you? All right. Thanks. Have a great day. Yeah, I got it going. Mm -hmm.